This video, this video is a bit different in that I'm going to explain lucid dreaming for children, for kids, young people. And uh, you know, you can define young people however you want. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna give you an age bracket, but people who are generally young, maybe you're in school or in college or something, or maybe you're in primary school, I don't know. Uh, or maybe you're a parent and you want to teach your children how to lucid dream. Here are some tips, here's some advice for you. So firstly, I wanna say, and this is probably what you're most concerned about, at least according to my comments and emails, you're wondering, hold on a second, this lucid dreaming thing, is it actually dangerous? And are there any risks associated with lucid dreaming? Well, I'll tell you straight away, there are no risks or dangers really of lucid dreaming. The only danger, so to speak, is that you might want to sleep more often you might wanna spend more time asleep. And that's not really a bad thing. If you're young, you should be sleeping more because you need more sleep anyway. But in terms of dangers with your mind, it's far healthier and better in terms of escapism than any video game you could possibly play. So if you're a parent, especially, if you're, and you're worried about your kid lucid dreaming because he might do some bad things in his lucid dream or in her lucid dream, it's far less of a risk than any video game that you could imagine, okay? And in a lucid dream, you're basically, you're gonna be drawn to things that are exciting, yes, but your brain will still have a sort of moral compass anyway. You won't be wanting to go and do crazy things. More likely than not, in a lucid dream, you'll just do kind of fun things. You know, maybe you'll run around or fly. Maybe you will climb a big tree, <laughs> climb a skyscraper, be a superhero, okay? It's very unlikely that anything bad or dangerous could or would happen, okay? So you're trying to lucid dream. You're wondering, is it different to lucid dream if you're younger? Well, yes, but the good news is it's easier. It's actually a lot easier to lucid dream if you are young, and I'm gonna define young, and don't get offended by this if you're watching this and you're older. I would define young as anywhere below the ages of, let's say, 20. 20, 22, that kind of age. That is what I would consider young in this context. So if you are under that age, you're gonna find it a lot easier than most of us. Um, certainly you're gonna find it easier than you know people above the age of 22. In general, there are exceptions of course. So good news, you'll find it easier. Now, what techniques do you actually need to do in terms of how to lucid dream for children, for kids, if you're younger, there's not really much difference in terms of technique. However, what you will find is that you, you need to rely much less on a physical induction technique than you do to actually just build up the basic habit. So this is good news for you. You don't need to start, you know, making crazy alarms on your phone, waking up at 3 a.m., you know, interrupting your sleep. I mean, you can do, yeah, you can do it if you want, but uh, you will have really good results if you just do the following things. Meditate every morning, for like 10 minutes or so. Write your dreams down in a kind of like a notepad, a journal, that kind of thing, or on your phone. And just generally try and set the intention to lucid dream. If you're young, your hormones and your sleep cycles and the way that you generally sleep is so good, you have no idea how good your sleep cycles usually are that you won't need to put much effort into lucid dreaming to actually have a lucid dream. Compared to an adult, I'm talking about in comparison to, let's say, a 40-year-old, 50-year-old, whatever, okay? You'll find it so much easier than they will. And this is because as we get older, we generally tend to get worse quality sleep. I mean, this is kind of like um, a big assumption, right? It really depends on the person, but your, your REM sleep and your sleep cycles become much more erratic and random the older you get. When you're young, you normally have these really clean sleep graphs where it goes, you know, you, you jump straight down into light sleep and then medium and then deep sleep and then back up to REM sleep. And they sort of go in these really clean patterns like this, 90 minute cycles. And that's really good for lucid dreaming. That's, you know, the easiest way, that's the ideal situation if you want a lucid dream. When you're older, however, you might skip REM sleep for the first two sleep cycles and then you might have like a quick blip of it here and then like it's all over the place. In short, the good news is you can lucid dream much easier if you're younger. So just set the really clear intention that you want to lucid dream. Tell yourself, I will lucid dream tonight and visualize yourself. Uh, this is kind of the biggest tip, I guess. Visualize yourself becoming lucid later on, like in the future. You can take a few seconds to do this with me now if you want. Just imagine, you know, you're looking down at your hands and you're thinking, hold on a second, this is a dream. I'm lucid right now. That's the moment of lucidity, okay? Now you wanna visualize yourself doing that, looking down at your hands, realizing, oh, this is a dream. Visualize that situation, that scene happening in the future, next time you're lucid. And this is really powerful, just that intention technique alone will probably give you a couple of lucid dreams anyway. But if you wanna make it even more effective, here's what you do. So do that throughout the day, visualize yourself becoming lucid, and then right before you're about to go to sleep in the evening, 
set a really strong intention. Tell yourself, I will lucid dream tonight. There's no doubt about it. And then visualize just before you go to sleep, sort of as you're laying there falling asleep, visualize yourself becoming lucid in the future. Uh, so basically that is it. If you are a parent, um, well, firstly, if you're a kid, that's how you do it. If you're a parent teaching a kid, that's how you teach them. It's really simple. There's no real danger or different thing you need to do, except focus on the intention and the awareness. You already have the odds massively stacked in your favor if you're below the ages of 20 to 22. So give it a try and uh, see how it goes.